All right, so we will be um, speaking to Wills, the word master, in a few moments here. Remember that also that is one of the favorite uh, segments on a Friday briefing. And so let me bring him in. Willis, good evening. Great to see you. I'm trying to <laughs> catch my breath. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a, an amazing dancer, but, you know, I try. <laughs> Kidogo, pole pole. <laughs> Good evening, Betty. <laughs> you know, trying sometimes, you yeah. know, leads to mm -hmm. being the best, uh, you know, with time. Yeah. And, you know, there is something that has really, you know, caught our eyes. Yes. And in fact, you know, the, 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 that feeling of yeah. the dance mm. and the singing, mm. you know, the wonderful talents. Yeah. I've just been watching it uh, with, uh, you know, the Kisumu-based uh, yes. uh, reporter yes. of uh, the Radio Maisha, uh -huh. you know, team. Uh, uh -huh. That is, if you remember, Kerry Molindi. Yes, he's yes. telling me those are wonderful uh, children and mm -hmm. they deserve mm -hmm. a part on the back. Yeah. And unajua meniambia kwa kiswa hili kidogo beti na mna gani? Uh-huh. Hamesema hao watoto ni wakali sana. Ni wakali sana. Kwa hivyo ni yeye. Kerry Molindi amesema watoto ni wakali sana. Na nikamuambia watoto ni wakali kama yeye mwenyewe mm. keri wakati anapo ripoti kutoka upande huu wa kisumu. <laughs> nice. Kwa, kwa kweli Willis <laughs> uh, watoto ni wakali <laughs> sana. Wakali sana yani. yani I, wakali, hope, I hope the win. Wakali sana. Yeah Willis. <laughs> I didn't know you can speak fluently like that in Swahili. I know I'm kidding. Just trying. Just, Just trying. trying. Right. Kiswahili is our language. Yes. yes Let yes. Kiswahili be Kiswahili, Kiswahili for our start for tonight. All right. But ours is English, English. pronunciation. Pronunciation. Great. Willis, I want us to get straight into our word on the street. Let's just hear what uh, Kenyans said this time round. Bujoizi. 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 Bujoisi. 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 Bugosi. 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 Rice. Bujozi. 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 Bogezi. 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 Yes. Bojas. Bojas. Bujozi. 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 Nivo. Bogosi. 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 Willis, you've heard it. Um, that's a word that, honestly, you cannot even blame, you know, Kenyans for trying to pronounce it because it's such a mouthful and the word, too many letters, all of them together. So how do we pronounce this one, Willis? Betty, that word is very tricky. Yeah. And uh, in fact, it's from French. Mm -hmm. And you say bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie. You know, even the the pronunciation itself you mm -hmm. first say bu yeah then joie, joie. then z bourgeoisie. bourgeoisie so getting it is not very easy mm -hmm. wherever you take it to uh, it would be a problem to many people because it's not a common word right. as you said correctly it has many letters and even the letter sequence mm -hmm. is a bit tricky mm -hmm. but whichever way you look at the word and say Bourgeoisie. 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 Got it, Willis. Yes. All right. So now we know. Moving on to this other word. Um, I know this word as med mediocrity. Is, it, is there any other way to pronounce it correctly? No. You okay. are right. right. You say mediocrity. Right. But you don't say mediocrity. Mm. And I don't know where people got mediocrity and mediocrity. I've had something like that, but I uh -huh. think it's because of the word hypocrisy and yes. all that. But we don't have anything to do with mediocrity. Mm -hmm. Mediocrity, the word is mediocrity, mediocrity. from the word mediocre. Right. Mediocre, mediocrity. Mediocrity. All right, Willis got it. Yes. Moving on to this other word. We know it as devolution. Is that correct or is it supposed to be devolution? Betty, that word has two alternative mm -hmm. or acceptable pronunciations. Mm -hmm. You can say D with the long vowel sound E, uh -huh. devolution, uh -huh. and that is the British, you know, standard form of its pronunciation, yes. Betty. D, devolution. Mm -hmm. But 
devolution, which is commonly used in the American English, mm -hmm. is also acceptable. So mm -hmm. somebody can talk of devolution mm -hmm. or devolution. All right. Devolution. Yes. Got it. Well, it's moving on to this other word. I'll spell it out. C-O-R-U-S-C-A-T-A. Coruscate. Is that correct? Oh, no. You say... <laughs> Oh, no. Coruscate. Oh, Coruscate. Wow. And okay. that is another word for to sparkle or to flash when we are talking about light. Mm -hmm. To coruscate. coruscate. That is to sparkle or to flash. Mm -hmm. Yes, coruscate. All right, that letter U takes yeah. the mid central vowel sound uh, uh -huh. Cora, not Koru. Mm. Coruscate. Well, that's a surprise, Willis, but. Um are we oh, yes. we're always surprised here on Mind Your Language, Willis. All right, so it's chorus, Kate, yeah? Yes. All right, Willis. Moving on to this other word. Um, P-E-N-U-R-I-O-U-S. Pen penurious? Oh, you say penurious. Okay. Yes, penurious. Right. Mm -hmm. What we should avoid is penurious. 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 That yes. primary stress is on the second syllable, Betty. Uh -huh. Nurious. And it's from mm -hmm. the word... Penury. Penury. Penury, yes. Penurious. The penurious. adjective is penurious, uh -huh. but the noun is penury. All right, got it. Moving on to yes. this other word T A S I M E T E R. Uh, is it a tassimeter? That even sounds wrong. Oh, tassimeter. Okay. Tassimeter. Yeah. So. It also has <laughs> the second, that is on the second syllable, on uh, C. Uh huh. You, put that stress or the force, mm -hmm. tassimeter. Tassimeter. That is that device, uh -huh. yes. Tassimeter. All right. Moving what on. we should avoid mm -hmm. is saying tassimeter. Meta, no. no. All right. But you remember meter. sometime back you brought the word diameter. Uh -huh. Many people say diameter. It's diameter. Diameter. Perimeter, not yes. perimeter. Yes, diameter. Uh -huh. Perimeter. Perimeter. Tassimeter. Perimeter. So we should okay. have, you know, those ones are having what we call now uh, the, the, that, the, the regular uh, aspect or form mm -hmm. of the, the orthography and the phonology. That is the spelling system and the sound system where you have meter, meter, meter. Aha, uh -huh. got it. Got it, Willis. Yes. You, the way you've explained that, I even got lost, Willis. You know, sometimes when you explain oh, the name, you use Betty. This, Yeah. No, but Betty, we have our brothers and sisters out there yeah. who, you know, what I'm talking about, when you talk of orthography, that yeah. is simply the spelling uh -huh. system of a language, like the mm -hmm. English orthography, the Kamba orthography, <laughs> Kikuyu orthography, that is just the spelling system. And then you, okay. when we talk of phonology, uh -huh. you are talking about the sound system, the way the sounds are in that language. Okay. All right, <laughs> got it, yes. Willis. You know, we always learn something new from you. So orthography yeah, we have to learn is a spelling it. system. Ah, yeah. Moving on to yes. this other word. We uh, pronounce, uh, spell it out as R-E-M-I-S-S-I-O-N. Uh, remission, remission. Oh, mm -hmm. remission, yes. Mm -hmm. You got it, Betty. Okay. Remission. remission. We should avoid remission. Uh -huh. To remit, remit, not to remit. Mm. We also say deposit. Not deposit. To deposit, mm -hmm. no. As I sometimes say, uh -huh. terrible. <laughs> deposit, terrible. remit, mm. remission. Uh -huh. All right. So yes. for, de for deposit, is it deposit even when it comes both on, um, as a doing word as in a, uh, a noun? Yes. Betty, we have what we call the heteronyms. Mm -hmm. We have words which they have the same spelling. Mm -hmm. And you'll have the same, same pronunciation. Yes. But we have different meanings. In fact, in that aspect, we'll be coming to what we call now the homonyms. Mm -hmm. That is deposit. To deposit yes. and the deposit. Don't say the deposit for a noun. No, no. As an action word, that is as a verb, you say deposit. Deposit. You also say deposit when it is a noun. So that is like the homonyms now. Uh -huh. When I'm talking about heteronyms, we have like now rebel and rebel. Same spelling, uh -huh. different pronunciation and different meanings. Just uh -huh. like tear, that is the liquid from the eye. Yes. Then we also have to tear something, to pull something apart. Uh -huh. Same spelling, 
different pronunciation and different meaning. Those are now the heteronyms or in grammar, you call them the homographs. Where? But the one you <laughs> asked me about deposit, yes. and the deposit as a noun, as, as a verb, yes. we're talking about now the homonyms in this case. But yeah. functioning as mm -hmm. a verb, mm -hmm. and the same, same word functioning as a noun. Right. Remember when you talk of respect, mm -hmm. to respect somebody, mm -hmm. and you also say respect mm. when you are talking of the noun. Okay. Res okay. I Both think you can them. now get it clearly. Completely, Willis. Thank you for that. So, yes. um, earlier on, um, on in the show, somebody by the name of Paola asked me to ask you about this word that we spell as P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M. Um, how do we go about that? Can you try it fast? <laughs> you are too fast in spelling. Oh, is it like P? I, I, para, is it like paradigm? Is that that's the word that I know? Oh, you are talking about P A R A D I G M. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, I think you missed the G. Okay. In the spelling, we have that G, mm. but you say paradigm, like mm -hmm. paradigm shift, a paradigm, paradigm shift. shift. But Betty, when we have it inflecting or changing the form for grammatical function mm -hmm. into uh, an adjective, mm -hmm. you now say paradigmatic. Don't say paradigmatic. Oh. It's a paradigm shift, okay. but you say paradigmatic, not paradigmatic. paradigmatic. Just like resign, yes, paradigmatic. Uh -huh. Resign, okay. resignation, mm. not resignation. Mm. You get that? Yes. Okay. Completely. Any other question, Betty, from your side before I go to the feedback? Yes. Yeah, so we have a feedback question. Um, Duncan Muita of Nairobi, uh, he's asking about this word that is spelled as S-O-J-O-U-R-N. Oh, you say sojan. Sojan. To a sojan. That uh -huh. is a noun, a okay. sojan, like somebody going somewhere, you know, temporarily or to go yes. to a place away from home. Yes. So Duncan Muita of Nairobi and our dear viewers, you say Sojourn. Don't sojourn. say sojourn. <laughs> sojourn. Sojourn is like talking of a journalist mm. instead of a journalist. journalist. That J O U R N, mm -hmm. you say John. Sojourn. Yeah. But sojourn. in journalism, journalist, mm -hmm. journey, but this one, Betty, has mm -hmm. what we call the weak sound uh. Oh. Jan. Sojourn. 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 All right. So, Danka Mwita, I hope you've got that. Melinda Kirov, mm -hmm. oh, she has not told us where she's uh, sending in uh, this word from. Hello, yes, you yes. say ma, not mira. Ma. Yes. M Y R R or R R H. Ma. Uh. Mahat Nur, mm -hmm. fate, not fete. Betty, do you remember that <laughs> word? Yes, <laughs> fete. fete. You took it to the street one time, <laughs> and there was a lot of fete, fete, fete. fete. Anyway, yeah. Mahat Nur and our dear viewers, you say fate to be fated, to fate, fate somebody. Yeah. And we have also gigantic from the same man gigantic. and female sheep. Mm -hmm. Gigantic, not mm. gigantic. Yes. Gigantic. Then you say a you, the female sheep. E W E. Are you just like you say you pronounce Y O U or letter U? Yes. Are you Moha Funky? This is a very, very big or great follower of this program, Betty. Mm. Of Wajir or Wajia, you say Savia when you have V I O R, mm. that is American spelling Moha Funky. Mm. When you have V I O U R, that mm -hmm. is British spelling, but you pronounce both as. Savior. Savior, then savory. Your second word is savory. Then lingerie and lingerie. Lingerie oh, and okay. lingerie. Don't say lingerie. <laughs> lingerie and <laughs> lingerie. Yeah. That is uh, alternative pronunciations. I want to be a bit fast. Yes, Nelly yes. Chepkwony of mm. Kericho, plethora. Plethora. Morris or nuko, you say coffee. Mm. But you may coffee. hear of coffee. coffee. Can I have some coffee? That mm. is in the American English, where mm. constitution may come out as constitution. Committee, you may hear it as committee. committee. Commission, you may hear commission. Com that is American when you talk of coffee. Yes. But the standard pronunciation in terms of RP is coffee. Then Stella. Oh, Betty, we are having wonderful Kenyan mm -hmm. ladies here from New Jersey in America. Wow, lovely. Wonderful. Mm. Stella, you have Angelina Sifuna and Evelyn Mogaka. You say close, 
C L O S E, close. Mm. That is when you're using that word as an adjective, mm. close to something or close to somebody. But as a verb, you say close. Can you close, close. the door? Can you close that draw? Yes. So you say close as a verb. Mm. And this wonderful team from New Jersey, America, we would also tell you that when you talk of clothes, clothes, C L O T H E S, from the verb clothe, you say clothes. But we have what we call also clothes in terms of a noun. Mm. Then we have clothes. Clothes, that is C L O T H S. Clothes, that's the plural of cloth. C L O T H. Cloth. So Stella. Angelina Sifuna and Evelyn Mogaka. Mm -hmm. Oh, Evelyn Makori, not Mogaka. Mm -hmm. Evelyn Makori, we tell you thank you so much. This is Friday Briefing, but remember it's mind your pronunciations. Language. We yes. have to get it right. Yeah. I know in America you get some <laughs> variations and all that, but we are dealing with the English, English pronunciation. So Stella and your team, you are wonderful, and you say nuptial, not nuptial. Angelina mm -hmm. Sifuna. It's nuptial not when we're talking about the wedding. Okay. It's KTN. Don't forget about that, our dear sisters. <laughs> Dr. Robert Manduku, you say surgeon. Surgeon. A surgeon, not a surgeon. Mm -hmm. Betty, have you heard of surgeon? Surgeon. Surgeon. But it's a surgeon. Okay. Surgeon. Mm -hmm. George Shege, obsequious. Surgeon. Obsequious. Okay. Obsequious. Mm -hmm. Obsequious. Don't say obsequious. Mm -hmm. Obsequious. Obsequious. That is cures. No, you say queers. Queers. Obsequious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahmed Guhad, myriad. Not myrad, myriad, myriad, myriad problems. Delphine Akoya mm -hmm. and Mariah or Maria Nyaburi of Zen, mm -hmm. you say pediatric, and Zen is strictly Zen. Nicodemus Anam of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, mm -hmm. you say nugget. You also asked about fate, but All I've right. already explained it to the other person. Now, uh, we have Guyo Jimo. Subterfuge and impecunious. Impecunious mm -hmm. and subterfuge. Mm -hmm. Jen Makoha of Busia, impede. Don't say impaired. We have impediment, but the verb is impede. Mm. And Betty, we don't say centipede, mm. we don't say milliped. We have centipede and All right. millipede. All right. Impede. Sylvester impede. Aura, oven and controller. <laughs> don't say state house comptroller. Comptroller is a variant spelling of controller. Uh -huh. So when you see that word, don't say controller. So Just controller. say controller. And you also have yes, Betty. Yes. And you say oven. Stephen Wambua, you say Ustasha. There is a city in England, if I'm not wrong, Ustasha. Don't say Worcestershire. No. Mm. Ustasha. Mm. And then Onomatopia. Yes. Paul Munguti of Eldoret. Oh, Paradigm. I think this is the person who sent yes, in yes. that. Paul Munguti of Eldoret. Joyce Atieno of Migori, invitation. Don't say invitation. Yes. Vitation, no. The verb is invite, but the noun is invitation. Invitation. Compilation. Right. Mm. Combination. Mm. And finally, Peter Musioka of Kitui, you say penal, not penal. Okay. Penal. Our surprise word for tonight, Betty, is right here. Many people talk about the tomb. Mm. The tomb or the tomb, which is wrong. Mm -hmm. That B is not pronounced. It's silent. Two. You say tomb. And I've done tomb. the phonetic transcription mm. there, T. Then we have that U. Then we have what looks like a full colon mm -hmm. that shows you. In phonetic transcription, Betty, this one shows you that it's the long sound U, just mm. like in womb or pool, P-O-O-L. Yes. Pool, tomb. Mm. And you don't say the womb, you say um. the womb. That's All when right. I brought it here for people to understand it easily. The upper one, tomb. Mm. The lower tomb. one, womb. Don't right. say womb, don't say tomb. And the very final part of it, Betty, confusing words. And this is uh, due to public demand, Betty, mm -hmm. especially those who love uh, Friday, Friday briefing. briefing. Mind your language or mind your pronunciation. In this case... The upper word is a noun. It doesn't have letter E mm -hmm. at the end. And you say breath, breath. breath. That is the noun, breath. Mm. 
-hmm. But when you have E after H, E after H, you say breathe. That is now breathe. the verb, to breathe. To breathe in, breathe out, mm. breathe deeply. Okay. The lower word, breathe, that is a verb. Mm. So, dear viewers, Where? it's sometimes good for you to get the pronunciations right because in that way, you end up delivering the intended messages clearly and effectively, especially if you are in any career of serious communication like Betty. And that <laughs> is why you may love the English used by Betty a lot. <laughs> Willis, so much pressure, but thank you very, very much, Willis, for that. I know. Uh, yes, and uh, we'll see you again next uh, Friday. Hopefully, you will not have left for uh, Christmas. Yes. Uh, hopefully, we'll still have you here I'll next I'll be there, Betty. I'll Great. be there. Our viewers can be assured of that. Great. I'll be there for them. Happy to hear that. All right, remember that you can always uh, tweet Willis at Willis Cheng one if you have any questions. Uh, Midweek, if you're going for an interview, want to know what to pronounce, um, so, how to pronounce certain words. Of course, you can always interact with, me, with him on Twitter. Uh, he's very interactive on that platform, at Willis Cheng one All right, so we want now to take a short commercial break, but we're coming back to continue with the show. We'll be having True Story and uh, so much more coming up. Don't go away.